We have a quarterback index here for you, uh, Brian. Okay. Our guy, Jason Lockenfora, CBSSports.com. Well, I, I got worked in the pre-show. Didn't you, that ranking that came out with Sharps, the yeah. analyst, and I didn't know it was fantasy football and Dak <laughs> even on the, Yeah. I was like, hey, Kevin, you're not going to believe this list. This guy. Is that fantasy, though, Brian? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. This, yeah. Well, you gave me the list of the top 10 quarterbacks. And, and it was like. And, and like number nine was Trey Lance. Yeah. And I'm like. Okay, what are we basing that off yeah. of? And I'm like, oh, this must be for the fantasy. rushing yards. Yeah, the fantasy stuff. Yeah, so he's going to have six rushing touchdowns I, I thought, and 40 yards a game. I thought we had a couple of segments today with these <laughs> quarterback. Where's Aaron Rodgers? Where's this? Yeah. No, this is Jason Lock on four. I'm all, I, I am a sucker for quarterback rankings. I yeah. guess I'm just fascinated where people with different perspectives mm-hmm. would want to put Dak Prescott or, yeah. or whoever. So here's his tiers, and you tell me where you would put Dak. The first tier with nine quarterbacks in here. Bonafide franchise QBs. Okay, do you think Dak is in that list? I think some people would define him as a bona fide franchise quarterback. They've sure. paid him. They have no plans to move on from him. Mm-hmm. I think depending on how you define franchise quarterback for you, I think you could have Dak in that list. But Jason Lock and Ford does not. Okay, out of nine quarterbacks, now he's got Mahomes, Brady, Rogers, Jackson, Allen, Wilson, Herbert, Burrow. And Matt Stafford. Matt Stafford with the Super Bowl victory there. Stafford gets in because of the Super Bowl victory, right? Yeah, for sure. Tier two. Top pros. Proven winners. Top pros slash proven winners. This is the second tier in the updated quarterback tier rankings. Jason Lock and Fora. Dak should surely be in there. Got to be in this one. He's a suitor. He's a pro. It's a top pro right there. Proven winner. Matt Ryan, Deshaun Watson. That's it. Two guys (laughs) in the top pros as proven winners group. Is Jason Lockin for trolling us as Cowboys fans? Now, tier three, I don't know why he put in here. Uh, These jobbers? No, rising stars. <laughs> oh. Rising stars. Wait. And there are no players in that tier right now. I would have put that like below the next tier. Yeah, I, why, I, why is that not your last one? Sure, right? Okay. Uh, maybe rising stars and then forget about it. Yeah. You know, it yeah. would be my last one. But we come down here to tier four. And here's the tier not that even. Jason Lockin for has decided to put Dak Prescott in. These bums? You can win with them. <laughs> Did you tell me, is this fair company for Dak Prescott me, at 877? Let me, yeah, let me ask it, see if we can win with these guys first. Derek Carr. Seems like a fair comp yeah, to Dak. You can win with him, yeah. Kirk Cousins. Win with him. I guess. You have a yeah. great defense and an amazing running game. Yeah. Two good, awesome ones. They try. Yeah, yeah build, a, build a complete football team. And maybe that's where Dak is. Yeah. yeah, if you build a complete football team with no yeah. weaknesses, good luck with that in the salary cap era. You can win with these guys. Tannehill. Yeah. Uh, then Prescott. Huh. Kyler Murray. Whoa. Uh, seemed low for him, too. Yeah. Jameis Winston, who had a nice bounce back six games before the injury. And then here's where it starts to get offensive. Jalen Hurts, Mac Jones, Tua Tagovailoa. I don't. Those guys should be kicked out of the group, and maybe Jameis Winston as well. That should be two different groups. Yeah. Um. But what do you think about Dak being compared? Is that is that accurate to put him in a group with Carr, Cousins, uh, Kyler Murray? I'd say Kyler Murray, yes, for sure. Yeah. Derek Carr, yeah, probably. Once you get to Cousins and Tannehill, that's going to make the biggest Dak supporters quite nervous and possibly triggered. Brought us. But we got Ryan. In that group, that was it, the top pro, that number two. Yeah, that's your top pros and proven winners. And proven winners. Matt Ryan ahead? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. still? Yeah. I thought he got a little bit washed up there in Atlanta. Maybe it's just a bad situation. At one point, he was better than Dak in his prime. I think, I think his, I think his tier four group, there needs to be some guys in that tier two. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, that's my problem with him. Yeah. You move, you move Dak, Murray, Car maybe cousins yeah, that, that's, into it, yeah. top, top pros and proven winners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe so. I might create a tier between two and four and not have it be rising stars. Yeah, but have it be like, hey, these guys are better than flipping Jalen Hurts, Mac Jones, and Tua. That hurts to have Dak in that camp, isn't that? That's critically low. That's that, criminally low, is yeah, what I meant to that, say. That is low. That the is. other two tiers he has: good luck, <laughs> uh, which is your Goff and Mariota and Darnold group. Yeah, which is well. Yeah, I guess it might come together for you at yeah, some point. Yeah, but yeah, you're gonna you're gonna win three games, but you're gonna lose eight yeah. along the way. Yeah. Maybe Tannehill was in that group at some point in the good luck group, and it did turn out okay. Jameis Winston was in that good luck group sure. last year, and he is elevated out of that with a change of scenery. Then jury is still out. 
with uh, Lawrence and, and Trey Lance, Davis Mills, who you were a big fan of. I am a fan you got of a did, quarterback right. I did get a quarterback. Congratulations. Right. Yeah. And then uh, Wilson there with the Jets at 877-881-1053. Okay. It's time for your feedback on okay. the com fan text. Real quick, uh, group one, just Mahomes, that's a hint that's comparing to Dak. That's a no, right? Who's yeah. next? Brady. No. Uh, no. Rogers. No. Jackson. Those are the bona fide guys, right? Yeah, the, that's your yeah, bona fide franchise that's QBs. Bona fides. And yeah. the suiters is where Dak is. Okay. Yeah. He's Man. almost there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Jackson. Jackson, I don't know. I don't know about being in that first. I don't know about that franchise. I'd guy. Rather, I think I'd rather have Lamar Jackson than Dak Prescott right now, but it's very close. But I mean, okay, if you're talking about throwing and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, Justin Herbert. I'm not sure. Yeah. Feel free to start I, I, winning no, no, some games. I, no, no, I, I'm with you. I'm with you on that one. I, that one. S- Stafford. I'm not sure he deserves to be two tiers ahead of Dak. That's he's. A, yeah, I mean, I think I, if you put Dak with the Rams and he was healthy, they'd be in the same position. It was always before Stafford won the Super Bowl. He was always in that Dak group. Yeah. He was always in that car. Sure. Stafford, Dak. He was always in that group. That's now, the group he should be in. Yeah, yeah. Now that Stafford's won a Super Bowl, Burrow. I mean, hmm, we'll see. Yeah, yeah, I think you know Burrow's a fascinating player with a with an incredible season, especially with how much he was sacked. If he can clean up those sacks and yeah. have another winning season without a great roster, I, I think he'll be locked in there. But Wilson? right now, jury's out a little bit. Right? Yes, yes, Russell Wilson for sure. He deserves to be in that group. Things got really bad in Seattle. No defense, no protection. Here's two wide receivers. Go make magic happen, Russ. Yeah. Finally came to the end of that. Okay, at 877-881-1053, the 682 says Carr is better than Dak. Vegas checking in here. Yeah. She's going to show it this year, finally having some stability and competence with coaching and front office. Be, yeah, that'd be interesting. Uh, okay. Uh, those last names with Hertz and Tua should be under the you can tie games with them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Nine five nine. Dak is mid at best. Okay. Um, I think he. I think he, for a lot of last year, despite having top five stats, he did play fairly average last year. Uh, four six nine. They're not scared to throw the ball like Dak is. Scratching my head, shaking my head. What's, yeah, SMH shaking my head. What the hell has Murray done? The eight one seven. About the same as Dak. He was him and Dak were yeah. both the MVPs through week eight. Yeah, that's what we were talking about. Yeah. Here's my buddy uh, Ryan and Rowlett. He's another soccer coach out there. Okay. Ryan and Rowlett, 469. At least he puts his name on stuff. Yeah, we appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, you know, he can build a brand as well. Look at that. Uh, General, Dak Prescott is right where he should be, the best quarterback in a subpar quarterback-filled division. <laughs> yeah, still got the best QB in the in, in the East. That's all you need to know. Well, your, your 2023 will be the evaluation there, right? Yeah. You look at it, you, you evaluate the coaches. Coaches don't get it done. New coaches come in, they can't turn Dak around, then we're going to be talking about in 2023 what they're going to do at quarterback.